Well, to start off, I got to show you this roast right here. <laughs> the father-in-law signed up uh, a roast of caribou, and uh, this one was harvested on Newfoundland Island. But just look at the size of that. So I'm gonna cut it in two and make two two roasts. And just look, uh, looks like it was just you know vacuum packed yesterday. So, oh, what a treat this is gonna be! Wow! Just wow! <laughs> Yeah, the leg now. A lot of difference, eh? You go back and look at some of my old footage, you'll see that there's a decent sized lump there. But but it's healing up another week or so. I'll be getting on the go a bit. Get a glove on too. The old meat saw. <laughs> Oh, that smells good. I think he's going right down the garbage can. I guess I got to throw it another way now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Oh, just look at that roast right there. Oh, a few slivers of pork on top of there. Well, I gotta say, that was one of the best meals I had in a very, very long time. It was friggin' fantastic. But now I'm just gonna get right to the contest. And I'll just show you what you could win again. This right here, made by a this ice fishing set made by a local business here, Lou Designs. The lady, a part owner, uh, came up with that uh, That's part of her artwork. Yeah. Then I had a nice chat with her. Nice friendly lady. They, they got all kinds of stuff there. I'll put a link in the description. They got a TikTok channel. A lot of different videos. You see some of the stuff that they uh, got available in their store there. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description to Lou Designs. And I'm also going to add this chocolate bar that... Uh, that they have. Uh, I'm not sure how to get that up. right there. And on this chocolate bar, I'm just gonna go like this. Uh, all kinds of different sayings from different communities, Troot, Labrador, called the Hark Bar, I think. And I think they, they got the first indigenous chocolate bar in the province, maybe something like that. You got three or four different ones, so. So I got one there, and that's what I'm going to be included with that ice fishing, ice fishing set. Now, the rules and the clues. All right, uh, first off, it's impossible probably, I say it's going to be impossible to guess the answer, like, you know, just naming off any video or whatnot. I'm just going to say a phrase, a little sentence that I used in a video. And the first person to name that video, and roughly the time in that video, will win those two prizes uh i want you to name the video in roughly time i guess well even if you just named the video i suppose because there could be a similar phrase in a different video because you know i got a lot of videos out there so you know some stuff gets repeated you know just the way it is first clue it's definitely not in the last five videos that i uploaded so uh yeah, you know, uh, and I don't know how easy or difficult this is going to be. If the contest goes on for so long and no one gets it, I'll throw in another clue or something like that. So I really don't know. But in this video, I said, drum roll please, but that's not what I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ain't going to get anywhere like this. Ain't going to get anywhere like this. First person named the video and roughly the time in that video wins those two prizes. Best of luck, everyone. Go, go, go. Find it, figure it out. Look, find it, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Now, uh, I know some people are going to leave the video and go and seek to figure out the answer uh, to the contest. And uh, But I'm going to continue on here now, just for a little bit anyway. Uh, I'm getting ready. This will be the first outing uh, since I had surgery back on December the 6th. Tomorrow, me and William, we're going to go... Probably to the Muldoons, uh, smell fishing. We're gonna take a line to the stove, lit a fire, and we're gonna cook up a fantastic meal out there on the ice. 
I'm not going to tell you what that is. Uh, I am going to make a video of it. And that will be the, the next video after this one. And I uh, heard a cat out by the door. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just getting some gear ready here now. You know, uh, I got to uh, get the ice auger straightened away. And, and tomorrow morning, I'm going to get the stove over and uh, fill up the wood and that and have it all ready to light and stuff like that. And, and actually, I'm going on a new one. I go down and pick up a new tow hitch for that one. So, I'm going to take the toboggan, put everything in the toboggan, and uh, where you fish to in the, off the Maldoons, you got to go a long ways after, just with a shoal water. So, I'm going to take the GPS, like a Mercs on there, and am I swinging around? Who knows? And we see a parmigan. A couple of par fresh parmigan for a pot of soup, be real nice. And got me kettle and solder stuff there in the days and that. So, uh, so, yeah, it's going to be the first time out. Uh, I still... Uh, so gotta be careful uh, with the leg. Uh, I can't be too rambunctious, not just yet. So I'm just gonna take my time. But we're having to have an outing anyway. Uh, the little fellow's gonna take a day off school and get some schooling on the land, I guess. Now I had this boat come uh, slack on me a couple of times. Uh, I just tweaked it in really good. I should have a bit of lock to it on, but I don't have none here. So I'm just gonna put some uh, black electrical tape around it for now. And so he won't come loose and come out. I don't wanna lose that bolt. <laughs> yeah, so. So get that done and I gotta get some gas in her and then I'm gonna stir her up uh, just run her a little bit you know you want to take her out here least fishing that she knows she won't start the trip could go sour pretty fast yeah I don't think I'll have any trouble with that that should be all right and today I was out and I'm gonna put the the trail pass sticker on this canoe but it wouldn't stick so I'm just putting back on that piece of paper there and uh, I guess I'll have to wait now until the canoe is in the shed you know when the, when the cab is warm uh, I'm not sure if there's any other kind of trick or anything to it that might work, but uh, yeah, it wouldn't stick at all. So, so I'll probably take a picture of one, keep it on my phone. Now I got the new hitch uh, put on there, and I got the toboggan hooked up. Just uh, a little few odds and ends, you know. Uh, we'll have to do in the morning. And before I go, I just wanted to show one more thing here. Uh, when we were in Lab City last spring, I picked up this. Uh, this ice chisel. I was on sale for half price. I never actually paid much for it. Uh, I was thinking, you know, when the ice is not too thick, you know, if you want for a little rig to get a hold down, you know, to catch a fish. Uh, the ice might be too thick now, I don't know, but I'm gonna take it line tomorrow just to give it a try, and you'll see that in the next video. And yeah, we got uh, some gear there to bring in, get washed out or whatnot. And uh, so, yeah, but I guess that's it for this video. Uh, you know, best of luck to everyone in the contest. And uh, I hope to see you all in the next one. So, <coughs> so take care. All the best from the big land.